Good morning, Chief. We welcome you to TV Asia. As I, first of all, take an honor, indeed, it's a pleasure. I am a resident of Shamburg, and you are my police chief. In today's time, what we've seen, Shamburg, you guys are keeping us so very safe in the northwestern suburbs. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Let's hear about the Shamburg Police Department and its contribution to the community, that how within a fraction of a second that you can reach before even I blink. Well, we're very fortunate in Schaumburg because we, uh, we're staffed and we have the community divided up and so we have officers really in various areas throughout the community, community all the time. And so regardless of what time of the day it is, there's generally somebody in just about every part of Schaumburg that can respond in a, if there's a need. Chief, as we are seeing it, I would like to hear from you that your perspective, how people should behave. There is so much of unrest which has been happening, and people, there's so much fear mongering, like, you know, they're spreading, and we do see social media, like people can post without even doing and justifying the reports and stuff like that, how they should handle and tackle these situations. Well, the most of the time, people, um, I want to say are probably good and are well-intentioned. The unfortunate thing is with social media today, the ability to put comments out there um, can be very fast and they don't really have to be solicited and they can be biased and it creates um, difficulty, I guess, living in a neighborhood, living in a community when people exhibit and express those kind of things. And I think the important thing is we deal with situations where laws are broken um, that doesn't necessarily rise to the level of every comment that might be made, but uh, the important thing to realize, sometimes it's important to just walk away uh, because we're not going to account for people that, that really have their own personal bias. Can we talk about in today's time that everybody uh, starts saying, oh, this thing is like, you know, uh, it's racial and uh, this is, what is the difference that people have to know about it, like, you know, in general terms, means which is different? Because we do know the Constitution, the freedom of speech in this country, like if somebody is just saying something, so how do we define that? Well, I think the, the thing is is that if there, there's a crime committed when there, there's uh, generally uh, a hate crime is where it's directed at specifically at a certain uh, group or a certain, certain uh, ethnicity and the target of that crime is that group. And when it's expressed that way, I think that uh, certainly everybody that's here has the same rights uh, to be here as anyone else and those rights should be respected. And it doesn't matter what uh, others think or what race or where you came from as a citizen you have the same rights as anyone else And uh, there is something which has been uh, talked about like you know, oh uh, You need to carry your documents with you uh, I mean like immigration status like uh, the police can ask uh, would you please stress a little light on that? Well the police here really what we uh, deal with most of the time is when we encounter someone um, maybe it's on a call where we need to be able to uh, make a computer check. Um, if we make a computer check uh, through our local systems like the Illinois driver's license, um, we are not routinely checking someone, the local police are not routinely, routinely checking someone's immigration status. That's not really what this the local... This is very important for people not, to know about it. It's not really what the local police are here for. We're not uh, immigration agents. Um, there may be situations where immigration would call upon us, but as a whole, our job is to, to deal with local law enforcement, and part of that responsibility is that we may make records checks, but we're purely making those records checks through our own Illinois database is not necessarily INS. Oh, we are not. That is a beautiful thing to know for people, you know, because so not living in myths, which is very, very important, and anything important that you want to say to the residents of Schaumburg? What I think is really important to realize, the Schaumburg Police Department is committing, committed to serving all of the community. And it's really our, it's been our goals uh, to be able to embrace and, and be a part of the community, uh, make relationships a positive way. And so when we deal with do, doing our job every day, the important thing is that as we do our job, that uh, we're serving everyone. And our goal is to keep the community safe regardless of where uh, where someone may come from, whether someone is from another country, our goal is to keep the community safe. So much diversity in Schaumburg, and you are keeping everyone safe. How you could do that? 
Well, diversity, in my opinion, is a strength. Mm -hmm. A community that's diverse is, is really a community that's reflective of the world. And so I, I would like to believe, because we work in a community that's reflective of the world, our officers are more experienced in working with people from other places. I think that, that makes us stronger as a police department. I think that makes the community stronger, too. Thank you so very much. And uh, coming back to my last question to you, and uh, that is we are indeed honored and pleasure to have you as our chief. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here.